Hey guys, this is Monica from Academic Phoenix Plus, and basically we are going to go ahead and complete this character. So as you can tell, um, I've already combined her neck and head together. You guys can kind of pause the video and take a look at the topology. Um, there's a couple of changes I made. I added a couple of more loops around um, the chest area so it looks a little bit more natural. And I also replaced an ear. What I did was just built one separately in a different file and then just went ahead and combined it. Um, I also tweaked a little bit more of the geometry so that she looks a lot more natural and a lot more uh, organic. So now that we're ready, we're going to go ahead and we want to duplicate this to the other sign and then combine the geometry. There's several ways you can do this. Um, the one that I've found to work the best so far has been to actually duplicate it in the opposite direction. So we can go to Edit, Duplicate Special Options. So again, if I reset my settings, I'm going to go ahead and do a negative one on, on X, excuse me, and then apply. And you can see that right away, it just go, goes ahead and mirrors the geometry. And that's basically what she looks like. However, we need to combine the mesh. So select your two pieces of geometry and then go to Mesh Combine. And that doesn't mean they're connected though. So the next thing is to actually go ahead and combine the edges together or actually the vertices together. So this can be a little bit of a process. I personally like to go to the front view and just get kind of close and make some uh, selections on your vertices right down in the center. What this is going to do is combine the vertices together so that you can actually have one solid piece instead of having half a character. So I'm just going to hit and make a selection. Now again, I've shown you a couple of ways to make us uh, uh, to actually select or merge vertices. So it's up to you how you want to do it. If you want to go through and grab every single one of them, that's fine. Um, you know, just keep just kind of make sure that you know you spare yourself some misery by clicking on every single vertice to combine them. This is going to be a faster way of doing it. All right, so just grab those vertices all the way to the top, all the way down. And let's grab these guys. Keep. Okay, I think I got everything. We're going to find out. Let's go to um, Edit Mesh, Merge. And when you do that, you need to make sure that something crazy doesn't happen, like accidentally, whoops, missed one, um, accidentally merge a bunch of anything that's really close together. So again, mesh, whoops, edit mesh, merge. And you're going to see that you've got a poly vertex um, input here. And the purpose of that is that, let's say, for example, if it's, you know, you wanted to actually merge a lot more, if you press one, that's actually one unit and it actually merges everything together into that one vertex, which is not what we want. So we'll go back to our default and that seems to work. So let's go ahead and move it around and yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's see what happens when mesh smooth. So this is actually the actual smooth of the mesh. Oops, I gotta fix something down there and maybe a couple of vertices over here. I'm trying to avoid this type of um, split. I obviously missed something. So let me go ahead and grab some vertices. Ah, it's an eye. And see where the weird little pucker is coming from. So edit mesh, merge. You can grab a vertice and you can see that they're connected now. And there she is. The character is done. Might want to duplicate this eye. Just move it to the other side. Just so it don't look so scary. All right. So that is how you model a character. There's a couple of things I need to fix a little bit. I can tell there's a little bit of a, in the chest area. Again, there was some problem in the crotch area, but in general, this is ready to go. The next step would be to actually create hair, clothing, any type of accessories. And then after that, you get to start getting to more advanced things like texturing and uh, using advanced materials like subsurface scattering. All right, so that basically completes the simple character. 
I hope this was helpful enough for you guys to understand the Maya tools better so that you can create your characters. We uh, talked about proper topology and basically you guys are ready to create your own character. Um, again, you can go ahead and upload your videos and I would love to see the results of your work. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.